Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful morning in Asha. Just had to show you this beautiful day. I'm headed to the bookstore today. I thought I'd take you with me. Love you guys. Enjoy. All right, we just pulled up. It's a cute little town here. I'm excited to share it with you. And I was just remember driving in that there used to be nothing here when I first moved out here. I used to work taking photos for Spokane Magazine. And I remember they were talking at the time about building this area out. And there was just one feather and a sign welcoming people. And I, and I took a picture of it for the magazine. So um, I snapped a picture coming in. I'll show it to you. But it's just so cute how this has grown up. And then this is just one of our cute little local bookstores that I like to, you know, help them stay in business, try to bring them as much business as I can. And uh, then if I don't find anything here, then we'll head over to Barnes and Noble. But this is the well-read moose. It's so cute. Check it out. All right, we are back. What a glorious day of book shopping. I can't wait to share what I got with you guys. First off, look at this puzzle. My daughter's coming out in two weeks, and I got us this puzzle to do, but it's a bookshop. How cool is that? And then it's my daughter's birthday, and so I got her one of my all-time favorite classics, and I love this cover. And then look at even the inside paper. Just absolutely beautiful. I know she's going to love it. Uh, a next book I'm excited about, it's called The Magic Ship or The Ship of Magic. And just when I read that title, I had to have it. Uh, let me read just a little blurb on the back. It says, Bing, Bing Town is a hub of exotic trade and home to a merchant nobility famed for its live ships. Rare vessels carved from wizard wood which ripens magically into sentient awareness. They're, the pirate ships actually think and live and are conscious. I thought that was so cool. Uh, and then I've been hearing a lot about Fourth Wing, and all I needed to know is it has dragons in it. So I, I, I know nothing about the story, but, I, but I'm excited. And then Neil Gaiman. I've never read anything by him. I saw, what was that movie on Netflix? Uh, Stardust, I think it was, and I love the movie. And that was written by Neil Gaiman. So I, I thought I'd try some of his books and see. Uh, what else did we get? I got, uh, of course, you got to get a bookmarker. I uh, got some tabs so I can tab up my books. And then they had candles on sale half off. And I ended up going with my old standby vanilla bean. Oh, it smells so good. I smelt so many candles. I literally, but I, I couldn't even tell what I was smelling any, anymore. So I just went with what I know I would love, and, and you know, I did, I had a great day, and it's kind of funny, I'm more of a out in the mountains, hiking in the woods by myself kind of a person, and, but I've noticed because of Asha, you know, uh, I, I got a little different mindset, and now when I go into town, I'm thinking not about oh, what are people thinking about me or saying about me. Uh, I, I think how can I brighten someone's day with, with a smile or a kind word? And, and you know, you, you get that reciprocity. You know, it comes back just niceness and kindness. Uh, and you know, when, when I was out today, 
I, 99.9% .9 of the people were wonderful. I, uh, there was one person that was just grumpy, you know, and that's okay. You know, it didn't change how I felt. I just smile, have a good day and, and went about my thing, you know, and, and I guess that is life, right? We don't know what they're going through or what they've been through. And we just got to worry about what we do. And, uh, we try to spread love. Uh, you know, sometimes I feel guilty. Like I got all this great, I love books and I'm thinking, you know, am I spending too much money? I did get 20% off. And, um, and then I think, you know, here at the Order of the Magi, we're always giving to charity. So that helps me feel a little better about it. <laughs> you guys ever feel like that too? It's like, oh, I'm spoiled. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm so happy I did. I'm so excited with my books. Can't wait to read them. Can't, you know, how much I love boats. For you new people, I mean, I worked on boats for many years. I had my captain's license, worked on the ocean out of California. And, um, you know, as a matter of fact, I was telling you earlier in the video about that feather uh, that when I worked for the Spokane magazine, they had me go in because they're going to build up this part of town. And the only thing that was there was a feather. Uh, it, let, here, let me show you the picture real quick. So now that was a new picture with buildings and stuff around it. But at the time, it was just a feather and land, you know, but I loved photography and I also loved working on boats. And so for a time, I got to combine the two. I used to take people over to Catalina Island out of Dana Point. And, um, and then I got the idea, I'd take their picture when they got on the boat next to like a life ring with the name of the boat and the year on it, and, and then get it developed and sell it to them, uh, when, when they got off the boat, when they got back. And, and so I got to combine my love of boats and photography. Uh, but then when I moved up to the Pacific Northwest here, I worked on some lake boats and did some photography. And, uh, that was just a fun memory when I drove by that feather today. And then just to see how it's grown out now, how even, you know, when I moved here, guys, I was like in the middle of nowhere. And now I've got neighbors around me. Now I actually see boats in the summer in the lake out in my bay fishing my fish. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just times are changing, but it, I, I'm glad I'm changing too, where I'm a little more loving and kind towards people. And now I'm feeling it back towards me. And have you noticed that like when you're not all defensive and aggressive, you know, and, and you put a smile on your face and give love, you know, I, people try to give that back, I think. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little book haul and spending the day with me. And you know, I love, love, love you.